Hey guys, it's Nogia Oteku. Hanazawa Kana is a wonderful veteran voice actress that you're a fan of whether you know it or not. Her high pitch yet mellow tone of voice is instantly recognizable, netting her various roles in anime with many high profile characters in popularity. Hanazawa san started voice acting from a young age of 14, starring in the first role in the anime Exile as the character Holy Methane. I haven't seen the anime as of yet, but it seems like an interesting one. Anyways, in this video, I want to take a look at some roles of Hanazawa san in anime and showcase how, even though known for her cute yet mellow, easy to listen voice, her voice acting is more versatile than it seems at first glance, making her a truly special voice actress out of the countless in the competitive world of Japanese voice acting. Shina Maeri, Steins Gate. This series is not very old, and Maeri has been killed by 100 yens. Steins Gate is an interesting anime with a roster of wonderful characters, and who can forget Shina Maeri's charming. Maeri represents the vocal tone of Hanazawa-san that she is mostly known for, a high-pitched yet mellow voice perfect to represent cute characters like Maeri, which is refreshing to see and hear in an anime that can get pretty dark sometimes. If you don't like Dr. Pepper, get out. Oftentimes, the high-pitched female voicing that is used to represent adolescent characters can be shrill or harsh to listen to, and this is intentional and matches some characters well. But in the case of Hanazawa-san, she has this mellow softness to her voice that makes her voicing easier to listen to. I love that characteristic of her tone. Another anime character that represents this aspect of her voice is Onodera Kosaki, Nisekoi. Dame da yo, Viking hai tara dou suru no? Hora. Nisekoi is a fun anime with a roster of various cute characters. Kosaki Onodera is a shy, emotional personality that is skillfully voiced by Hanazawa-san. Her high-toned, mellow voice represents Onodera's adolescence well. Showing skill when Onodera often expresses embarrassment when faced in awkward situations with Raku, who she shows affection for, and Hanazawa-san expertly showcases these bursts of embarrassment with transitions of mellowness to a high-pitched, shaky tone that amplifies the hilarity of the situation. Charlotte Dunois, Infinite Stratus. Charlotte Dunois, です。皆さん、改めてよろしくお願いします。Ignoring my gripes of the series itself, Charlotte represents the ability of adaptiveness of Hanazawa-san to match the character of a series. Charlotte, like many of the characters Hanazawa-san voices, is a shy and timid girl, but is also more mature with tomboyish-like characteristics. Hanazawa-san represents these attributes of Charlotte by using her usual cute, mellow voice, but with a slightly lower tone, that ranges from lower in pitch during more serious sequences, or higher in times of comedy. Like a toned-down version of Onodera's voice, showcasing Hanazawa-san's awareness to the characters that she portrays. Sengoku Nadeko Monogatari series. Nadeko, that's it. Koyomi, my sister, is my favorite. Nadeko from the Monogatari series once again represents the high-pitched mellow tone that Hanazawa-san is so well known for, but with a twist. Another adolescent character, Nadeko, like many of the characters Hanazawa-san portrays, is a shy and timid girl. But when pressed, especially when she was under the curse of the Jagari Nawa, can portray Yandere-like qualities, and sometimes just loses it. Hanazawa-san portrays the powerfulness of her voice in these scenes, going from a usual sweet, timid girl to borderline insane, showcasing the versatility of her vocal skills, proving she doesn't always have to just voice the innocent, shy girl. Kamuji Mitsuri, Demon Slayer. A more recent anime here, Demon Slayer is a fantastic series, and as the pattern goes, Mitsuri is another emotional, timid adolescent character, albeit a bit stronger and more mature than a lot of characters on this list so far. Mitsuri showcases how even after all these years, Hanazawa-san's vocal talent remains strong, really showcasing the often flustered personality of Mitsuri, nicknamed the Hashira of Love due to her attributes. Through her mellow, high-pitched voice, that I would say is a mix of Onodera's with a hint of Charlotte, makes sense as Mitsuri is presented as a more mature character than Onodera, but not as tomboyish as Dunoa. It'll be interesting to see how Hanazawa-san portrays her in fight scenes and future adaptations. But from the characters I'll talk about next, I know she won't have an issue with that. Kinokuni Nene, Food Wars. Kimi ga donna tema o hikou ga donna genre de tatakao ga. This is where it gets a little interesting. Who would have thought that a shonen anime that mixes typical battle tropes with cooking would be so fun to watch? 
With a wide variety of interesting characters, the anime has an impressive lineup of voice actors and actresses, including Hanazawa-san, who voices Kinokuni Nene. And unless you're a huge fan of Hanazawa-san, it's really difficult to tell that this girl with attitude who has a deep mellow voice is that of hers. The only way you can tell that it's her voice is just by the familiar mellow tone she adds to the attitude she portrays to the character. Such a difference from the usual characters she portrays, but a welcome one at that. Sunemori Akane, Psychopaths. Psychopaths is an amazing series, and unlike many of the show high pitched voices of many female leads in anime, although nothing wrong with that, Sunemori Akane is portrayed with a deep, mellow voice, kind of like the prior explored Nene, but in a more upbeat and optimistic fashion. Akane is a strong female lead that has her act together and expects others to behave in a similar way as well. Hanazawa san represents this attitude masterfully, with a deep mellow voice that slightly rises in tone in scenes of comedic relief and can go low in serious sequences of action. Akane is a perfect representation of Hanazawa san's ability to adapt and that she is not limited to the cutesy characters that she is often known for, such an amazing versatile talent that not many in the industry can rival. There's a lot more characters of Hanazawa san I can discuss, but these are the ones I wanted to talk about today. Not only is she a successful voice actress, but has a strong singing career as well. As she said in an interview with Tokyo Otaku Mode, I first began pursuing activities as a singer three years ago when I released my first single. By doing voice acting, I also had the opportunity to experience singing character songs, recording, and performing concerts. And just as I was thinking how much I love singing and how fun singing is, I received an offer from Aniplex, and so I decided to take on the opportunity. Her easy to listen to cute voice are present in the many songs she sings as well. I highly recommend her album Blue Avenue from 2015. Lots of cute songs to listen to. Hanazawa Kana is a wonderful voice actress that was able to rise up in the industry through her own talents and through the help of many around her. As she said in an interview with Anime News Network about her role in Nagino Asukara, which is a decent anime. As long as there's a studio to enter, there will always be a wonderful staff and cast working together to create the piece. So I build each character as I receive help from those wonderful people. For a lull in the sea, there were many times where the director taught me a lot about Manaka, which I agree with wholeheartedly. No matter how talented one is, without the help of those around you, one cannot succeed. And I'm glad there were so many to help Hanazawa san during her career, so that today we can listen to and watch the various characters that we love, that she helped to bring to life with her voice. Let me know in the comments below, what are some of your favorite roles from Hanazawa san? Anyways, that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for watching, likes and subs, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye!